Bro, one person I always see you praise, Mama D. I love Mama D. Yeah. I love Mama D. Um, my Mama D have been an asset in my life. Mm -hmm. Regardless, she remind me of myself. She the girl version of me. Okay. She get drunk. Um, she love gays. She love gays, but she love me most of all. Um, Mama D, they, I call her a girl punk. She a sister. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. What's T? So, um, my, my Mama D brightened me up. She, she about to, almost sixty, but she, you, you'll think she's sixteen. Yeah. She gonna move. She energetic. Um, she gonna keep you laughing. She always gotta come back. She like a girl version of me. She remind me of myself. So, mm -hmm. I'm a girl child. Like so, like with the most. Oh, let me see how to put it. The most knowledge you got from her. You know what I'm saying? Well, I actually filmed for Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. Mm -hmm. um, but the situation come on because of my mouth. I, I end up. Um, what happened, man? Me, me and Shekana got in a big mess. Oh yeah. Okay. So 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 she didn't want me to air what, what I was saying. So she ended up going to um, Mona, hmm. who over it, and um, I, I I would didn't get on the show. Cause I, I was going too hard. Cause uh, Shekana? Because I was going too hard, yeah. And Shekana, Shekana told her if I was gonna be on a show exposing all her personal business, mm -hmm. she wasn't gonna be on the show. So she gave her a choice to pick one, and she, of course she picked Shekana, cause Shekana been in the game. Yeah. So I got blackballed. It would have been better if you was on there though. Yeah, it would have. Cause I know you got a mouth. You, you gonna... I, not just a mouth. I'm original. Yeah, you ain't yeah. gonna hold nothing back. I'm not gonna hold nothing back. I'm not gonna be scared. I'm not gonna wanna say I'm gonna fight. But anyway. Um, I hadn't talked to Shekana since then, been four, four years ago, but I supported and I forgave her. Mm -hmm. And I just started following her back on social media. Well, that's good. Yeah. Been about five years, though. Mm hmm. Yeah. Hey, another person, well, we all young this. And, Andre, what her name was? Andre Conwell or something? Y'all went at it? And, and Andre Cotwell. You can tell yeah. us, like, what happened, like, before the camera mm -hmm. came on? A bitch built like G.I. Joe. I told Andre Carl, well, you better find somebody. He like to go for he like to go for different people, think he know him. He mm -hmm. just had a surgery and it still ain't do no justice. I said it. And when it, I don't give a f that been about seven years ago. Wherever I see him at and when I see him, I'ma beat the f up. <laughs> I'ma whoop his ass. I'm gonna give him a good old old fashioned Louisiana ass whooping. He gonna get it. And I'ma talk to that when I'm whooping. I'm gonna give him an old fashioned ass whooping. Don't play with me. He got to get it. I got it out for his ass. His ass is grass, cause he gonna eat it. So he gonna be Clarence that day. Oh, he gonna be Clarence that day. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm gonna ring, ring around the rose of his ass. But yeah, maybe we we're just talking. I can't, can't uh, get back in that situation you was back in the past. Oh, I'm not. Uh -huh. I'm gonna be in his state. I'm coming to him. Okay. Yeah, I'm coming to him. <laughs>